Sup guys over here. Today we're going to be talking about the Galaxy Passport and ZK Galaxy Passport. I personally see more and more campaign requiring that, so I think it's a good idea to go ahead and mint it. The process pretty much looks like a standard KYC. You start by signing the message, then you need to take a photo of your document. If you're doing that on PC, I would recommend actually go ahead and do it on the mobile because I'm going to share my personal experience here of actually getting this thing. So it has two steps. Step one is you taking the photo of your ID document. And step two, you taking a selfie. For whatever reason, for step one, there is no possibility to change to a different device. So if you start doing that on your PC or Mac, it will use your webcam. And for me personally, I don't have like the best webcam in the world, but it's pretty decent. And if I try, for example, to take a picture of my document uh, being here, it will work fine and, to, and it will be readable. However, in this window, it was completely unreadable. It's just like horrible quality. And on top of that is like trying to automatically take snapshots. So after like 15 minutes of trying to make a reasonably readable picture, I just gave up and went on mobile and there it went a lot better. And once you take the photo of your ID, it will actually give you the option to switch to a different device, sort of odd. I don't know why they did it, but nevertheless, after that, you just need to take several pictures of your face and basically application is completed. And then you have two possible outcomes. The outcome number one, your photos are getting instantly approved and you can move on to actually minting your passport. Or option number two, what I had, it says that my application was declined. It gave me a reference number and it says contact support. And actually contact support uh, button is right there. So if you get that, I will say just immediately contact support because after I did it and I got confirmation on my email, it says that please allow like 14 days for the reply. I was like, damn. Luckily, in my case, it only took two days and they replied and said everything was fine and I could ahead and mint the NFT. I would assume if there is a problem with the pictures that you sent, they will tell you uh, in the reply, obviously. So once you approved, when you go to the passport page, you will see something like this, where it will show you ID verification fee and you also have to pay gas. So in total, with the current prices of BNB, I paid around five bucks for that. And there's also gonna be a window where you import your password and read very carefully there because it states that this password is not recoverable. And after you've done that and you click mint, the NFT is gonna be minted and it's gonna be in your wallet. Now, the NFT itself does not have any of your personal information. The NFT only serves as a proof that you completed the process. And you should also be able to see it in your wallet once it's minted. And if you go to passport page, you should see this instead of like the form. So you probably heard of BABT, that stands for Binance Account Bound Token. So if you complete KYC on Binance, you can issue the sole bound token, it's not transferable, and that's gonna be in your wallet. And that basically serves as a proof that you completed KYC on Binance, proof on chain. I have a separate video about it, as always, links in the description. If you need to, go ahead and check that. And so what you can do with the help of Menta Network, if you have Binance account bound token, you can use that and mint the so-called ZKBAB that you can again use in different applications, in different campaigns as a proof of your KYC. And I also have a separate video on making ZKBAB. You can check that too. So recently, Manta and Galaxy partnered to make a ZK Galaxy Passport. So in order to mint that, you go to the minting page. Here we connect our wallet. Obviously, we use a Manta wallet. We connect that, then we click verify and you need to pick the wallet where your ZKBAB is. And also when you're connecting that, it will start detecting your um, Galaxy password. As you can see, it has been detected and we just click mint, sign the message, confirm, 
and as you can see it says minted and uh, you should be able to see that in your nfts let's try to check that boom we got it here and also regarding the gas when we mint it it says that we need to pay the gas but this also states that gas fees is covered by Manta network and if i actually check my wallet my kmas steal the amount i had previously they are intact i think they changed something because when i minted zkbab that was like 10 15 days maybe ago that was actually a button like a faucet that you had to click and get yourself two kmas for the gas but now i think they changed the way it works and you don't have to claim anything and the gas is automatically covered even though in a window it says that you have to pay the gas so anyways that's all i wanted to cover regarding galaxy passports if you have any questions write them down in the comments thank you very much for watching if you found video helpful please drop a like consider subscribing and i'll see you soon